So it is now mid-June, and there's not m too much to talk about the Philadelphia Phillies, except in the minor leagues. But at the pro level, oh, man, has it been a rough season, guys. But the draft was not too long ago. It was June 12th, and with the eighth pick, the Phillies took Adam Hazley out of Virginia, outfielder and pitcher. Played two positions there. Uh, coming out of high school, he was a really high-projected uh, pitcher. Uh, didn't really focus on hitting, uh, but when he got to Virginia, he wanted to change that. Uh, he was really high talented. He's got a decent arm, but he really wants to focus on hitting. And I really like this pick. He's been compared to Mickey Moniak. A lot of people don't like this pick. It's like, well, why would you take the same type of player? Here's why you do that. You can never have too many hitters on a team. Um, you know, he's a little bit older. He's a college guy, so he's a lot more advanced than Mickey is. He's 21 rather than 17 years old coming out. So he's going to fly through the systems a lot quicker. He's got a great back, quick hands. And he's the, the last college player we drafted in the first round um, as a hitter was Chase Utley, and we had a lot of success with him. So I like taking college players. Previous years we took a lot of high school kids. It takes them longer to go through the system as we know. But the first three rounds we took all college players. Um, and let me tell you why I like this. This kid is disciplined. You can't... Uh, teach quick hands you really can't he gets through the zone really quick and he adapted his game coming out um, like I had touched on before he was really a pitcher but he's worked on his hitting uh, and, and it was really nice to see because as a sophomore he struck out 34 times and only walked 14 comes back his junior season walks 44 times in um, 58 games so that's really great discipline to see. He's got the mental aspect. He can swing it through the zone, uh, you know, and he's got average speed. He, a lot of Mickey Moniak in this kid's game. Quick hands. He's got a decent arm. Where is he going to project, you say? We could have an outfield of Mickey Moniak and Adam Hazley. Uh, he's going to hit for average. You talk about power. We really need some power hitters in this uh, in this organization, but we're really banking on Reese Hoskins to do that. Uh, so he could pick us up there, but you can't. You want guys that are going to get on base. There was only one game last year where he didn't make it on base. You know, where is it be if it was hitting or walking? And to have a guy disciplined at the plate and walked rather than strike out as many times as he did the previous season it is great to have. You want to have a guy that hits for average, gets on base. He's going to be the top of the order guy, hit one or two. So if we have him and Mickey Moniak at the top of the order, I mean, you're talking speed. It could be reminiscent of when we had. Um, Rollins up there and we had Victorino and we know how successful that was when we had those guys up there And I like guys that hit for average. I mean he slashed in his junior year. He hit 390 and a 491 uh, on base percentage um, So I think he's gonna fly through the system He's probably gonna start off at Reading and then work his way up He could be uh, up in the majors as quick as 2019 if that and then Mickey Moniak shouldn't be too far behind him but above average arm and we don't know what's really going to work out with Abdul Herrera you're talking well why are we going to take another outfielder we have a slew of them we're not going to keep all these players the, more than likely they're going to be some of these guys are going to be packaged uh, as trade bait to get an established all-star where it be a pitcher an outfielder whatever position we need third baseman uh, we don't know, really know if Mikel Franco is going to pan out, but by the time these guys get up here, is Abdul Herrera really going to be the uh, going to be the answer out there in center field? Who knows? Um, you know, we have Alan out there that plays the outfield. We have Nick Williams. Uh, we we have a ton of outfield, ton of outfield depth. Dylan Cousins. Um, I'm trying to think who else we got down there. We got uh, Carlos Tucci. Down there, Redding, too. Um, I can't think of the kid. Roman Quinn, another speedster. So all these guys aren't going to make up there, but you want to have competition to light fires under guys that really not let guys get comfortable. We've seen what's happened with Mikel Franco getting comfortable there. Um, you know, And then we also have free agents that we could go after, too. But I like going after college players. I, I like the Adam Hazley pick just because of how disciplined he, he is. And uh, you, you, know, you never know if, he, uh, if we ever get into trouble, you get into a 19-20 game uh, inning, he, he can go out there the mound and pitch. But I think his arm strength will improve now that he's just going to focus on hitting and not uh, throw as many pitches and be on the mound. So that's going to strengthen up his arm. So maybe he has a cannon at one point. Uh, I think he suits better maybe out in left field rather than center field. You want your center fielder to have a gun. Same with your uh, right fielder. But um, 
I think this is going to be good for the Phillies. Uh, it, it's been abysmal, and you try to look at the glass half full rather than half empty, and you, you try to pull uh, something positive out of this. But I like it. I, I like taking players that are a little established, a little older. Uh, he doesn't have the projected ceiling that a lot of high school players do, but they get through the to the majors quicker. Um, and by the time, by taking some of these college players, maybe they're established enough to where they all come together like they did when we had the Chase Utleys, the Jimmy Rollins, the Chooches, the, uh, you know, Cole Hamels. So I really like this pick. Quick hands, can get through the zone, above average speed, above average arm, can play all three outfield positions. There's, it's not a bad pick at all. I like the pick. We'll probably more than likely be picking number one this year. Um, like I said, we could still go after free agents too. We got a ton of cap space, so it, it's a bright future for the Phillies. Uh, it, it looks really dismal now. I, I think out of all four sports, the Phillies are, are doing the worst. But baseball's a process. It, it doesn't take as quick as flipping over a team as it does in every other sport. It takes time for these kids to develop, add strength, work on their game. Uh, I think baseball is all, uh, has a lot to do with being a mental game too. Um, you could get, you could have all the uh, talent in the world, all the five tools, and look at happen to Don Brown. You've seen a, a bunch of prospects that never really panned out. Kyle Drayback is another one. Uh, Adam Hazley with the eighth pick, uh, second round. We took a pitcher out of uh, Cal Poly. Um, he's projected to be a probably a mid mid round re- reliever. I don't even think he's going to be a starter if he can stay healthy. I read a lot of reports that. Uh, we kind of reached for this guy. Maybe they liked it in, um, what was it, 200 innings. He had 97 strikeouts and only 15 walks. So he looks like a disciplined guy. He doesn't have a power arm. Uh, you know. And then in the third round, we took another pitcher, which we really need. We need hitting and pitching. I mean, we <laughs> we need a lot, guys. We need a lot of help. But this is where you start. It's all about evaluating, having the right um, scouts in your organization to be able to pick out talent. Not only in the first couple rounds, but in the mid to late rounds. Um, so we will see what happens. But Adam Hazley with the uh, eighth overall pick. We'll see how fi- fast this guy gets to the majors. And maybe he'll be one of our starting outfielders in a couple years and be an all-star. So this is Kyle Gaffner with the Bitter Birds. Just filling you in on some of the uh, MLB draft. What the Phillies have done and what they're going to do later. Uh, tune in. We're going to be doing a Eagle show. Adrian's going to be doing an Eagle show later. And I'm going to do a Sixer show in about five minutes. So... See you then, guys.